into a urethane so now you can take it to somebody and have them put color on it or if you want to you learn and, and you spray yourself so we got this Camaro here and what we did we stripped it down and we have the first uh, two coats of epoxy on there we did the body work just because for this we didn't want to go through all of that steps on there but what we want to show you is how this stuff rolls on we're going to be putting on the final step which is the urethane four to one urethane it rolls just like the epoxy. So you'll be able to see how this works on the horizontals with a couple reveals in here and then on the verticals coming down there. So if there's no other questions on there, I'll get in it, start yeah. mixing. Okay. Mark will go ahead and start getting mixed up and show you how easy it is to mix the product. Like he said, it's four to one mix ratio. And while he's doing it and while he's working, he'll be explaining how it's going and what he's doing along with what tools he's using. And make sure if you guys have any questions, feel free to jump in the chats and ask them. I can answer them live there or I can throw them over to Mark and we'll get you guys answered tonight here. So get all the questions answered while Mark's working. Okay. So go ahead, Mark. <clears throat> so the product that we give you, you get a whole kit. We have, we have four different kits. Um, the base kit starts out with just our epoxy. You get the, the chemicals in there. We give you the rollers, paint trays, everything you need, including mixing cups, to go ahead and get the vehicle in epoxy. Then from there, we step you up to a kit that gives you some sanding blocks. We give you some guide coat, rolls of paper, blocks to start leveling things out. That's what I really recommend. Tonight, if you're really interested in this, get that beginner kit. Um, it's inexpensive. It gives you more than enough to do a complete vehicle, like an early 70s Monte Carlo. Um, and then you can take it from there. Another nice thing with this is you don't have to think that I got to get the whole vehicle painted at once. If you got a small shop that you're working in, pull the fenders off, pull the hood off, do those one at a time. Put them on horses, go ahead, roll them, put it in epoxy, throw that to the side for a couple weeks. Slowly get the project done like that. So mixing it, like I said, this is a four to one. Let's simply pull the lid off. <clears throat> so. I'll try and spill most of it this way as I'm pouring it in. There's nothing like on camera stuff where you can't mix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the urethane that we have here, like I said, is uh, the same product that a professional would put on your vehicle. Uh, you got about a 20 minute pot life. So what I'm doing here is mixing up about 25 ounces, four to one. And then um, that should be enough, I'm guessing on here, but that should be enough to take care of that hood and it will come down on the right front fender on here. Um, putting it on, you got about a 30 minute uh, window between coats. We recommend with this one that you put on uh, three coats and then start your blocking. This stuff chalks up really nice. Uh, you can you can sand this dry or wet, uh, your preference, but it really levels out super nice. So yeah, it's important to know that this will build the same way that you're pretty much the same way that your spray on is going to do. So you're not losing any of that. So you still get that nice film build to be able to block all your panels laser straight. So the hard part, getting it in here. That's it. That would be equivalent to filling a paint gun. So with the kit, the magic of it, people are going to ask, well, why don't I just buy your coating and go out and get some roller covers at Home Depot? You can do that. Um, I mean, this isn't anything new, rolling a vehicle. This was done by Henry Ford at the start of this. What we did was we perfected the two, uh, the two primers that they really roll out nice level, nice and smooth. What we're using here is these open cell foam rollers. These are what really works great with the product that we have here and the chemistry of it. So we have two of them. The difference, it's just simple. I'll show you here in a dry run. Coming across your larger areas, this works great. The smaller diameter, one inch here, I'll show you, will come down and hit that reveal real nice. Also, you know, it's, um, it's gonna come up, someone's gonna ask it, but what do I do about door jams, under hood, um, areas in, you know, in here coming up the A pillar? We have our 2K epoxy and urethanes. This is the same two component product that is in the OptiFlow, 
but it's in an aerosolized can. So what you can do, if I wanted to do the bottom side of this hood, um, inside the fender here, any of that, you hit that with your aerosols. Then you can go ahead. So it's almost like cutting the lawn. Use the rotting mower on the field there. Get everything cut, then come back and trim it in. That's what this is used for. We give you these in the kit. Um, so, get that out of the way. One thing you do want to do, as these are professional roller covers and not just the, the polyester that's down there at Home Depot, is you want to meter them out. So to easily do that, just get some product on your tray here in your roller and just saturate. That's what you want to see. Because it's an open cell foam there, I want to saturate that whole roller cover. And that's it. Now we can go over to the vehicle. So we had uh, we had a, custom, a couple customers. We've sold we sold hundreds of these kits so far to date, um, and we have a lot of people out there that have successfully done this to many vehicles. <clears throat> but we got um, we got customers asking, well, what can the epoxy go over? You know, I don't want to strip the whole vehicle. I like what I have there. I just want to scuff it. Well, the beauty of our OptiFlow epoxy is that it can go over anything, any substrate. You can have bare metal, uh, fiberglass. You can go over any other cured primers, including lacquers, as long as they're adhered to the surface. The best thing you want to do when you go ahead and scuff and feather is make sure that nothing's delaminating. If the area starts to delaminate coming off there, then you're going to have to remove more of it. We can't guarantee what you're going over there. We recommend bare metal, but the product will work over top of other coatings. <clears throat> so to start, you're not worried about any run or roller marks. And I'll show you why once we get the major part of this done. But th this is as easy as it is. It, there's no more skill involved. I'm not a real good painter on walls or with a gun. But I'll show you here in a minute how this will level out very nice. Like I said, what we're going over is the epoxy. Uh, we sanded that to a, uh, I believe it was a 400 that we took it down to. It feathers um, or sands really nice. It's easy to block. So as you can see, these rollers will get into uh, some pretty tight areas. One thing you want to do is you want to just get it on. That's why we recommend if you want to do a panel of it at a time, get it on the vehicle, get done with it, and get on with your life doing other stuff. Once I get this one half done, I'll come back just show you how to drag the roller to remove any marks. Now each coating that you put on here you're going to ask, well what's the film build? Well the dry film build is about one mil. So we recommend with the epoxy and the urethane about three coats. That'll give you a good three mil. So now what I'll come back, I'm going to have no pressure other than the weight of the handle on my hand. And that's it. You'll see that takes out any roller mark that may be in there. Look at that, it's just coming right out. I think we got steak knife sets for the first 20 kits. Is that right? <laughs> no? Probably not. Okay. Tried to help you guys out. That's it, you can see how that's pulling out. There's no marks left in there. Whereas if you would have had your polyester, you know, your regular roller cover for your latex, paints from your Home Depot or Lowe's, you would have a very textured profile on there. I'm just gonna switch to this side, Joe. You know, as with as with the, uh, you know, painting any other type of paint with a roller, start working, you know, carry your wet edge 
across. I don't want to stop and start over here and then marry there. What I want to do is keep my wet edge coming across. So I know a lot of, uh, a lot of customers when we came out with this, we did some other videos showing the epoxy on this same vehicle and they were asking, well, you're doing a, a hood and we showed the, uh, we showed doing the roof up there. You know, saying, well, any coating's gonna level out on a horizontal, which is correct. They, they were correct, it will level out nicer. I'll show you on that vertical where those same people thought that we would just have big hangers and runs. And speaking of that, if you do get a run, it's real easy to just come back, touch it right up. Try and do that with a spray gun. Get a, you know, get a big hanger coming down the door. Just keep adding to it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. While you're working your way to the edge, we've got a great question that rolled in from Scott. He asked, uh, how does it work on the edges? I'll show you. You can you get, because of the rollers, we kept the rollers squared off instead of radius them. And the, uh, I'll show you the, the benefit of that on vehicles like this is you can get right up to it. You can get to a squared off area. And Craig says hi to Joe. Hey, Craig. Hey, Craig, Nelson. Craig, Joe is waving to you. You can't see it, but he's there. He's behind the camera. May have shaken a little. Like Joe, I don't know if you can come in here. That's what I'm talking about when you're coming up to the edges. Yeah, you know, I can get right on top of that fender line there in the hood. And again, if you have a vehicle, you got a large 50s with a lot of complex curves on it, a lot of contours, concave areas, roll what you can, roll the field, get that going, and then come back with the aerosol. Yeah, the kits make it really easy to give you everything you need, including those aerosols, the rollers, the mixing, uh, yeah. everything. And what is the, what's the special tonight for the base kit? Base kit of, uh, of urethane? Of, well, of the, of the epoxy. If somebody wants to get started tonight, our base kit, it's regularly... So the base kit, when you're first getting going into it, you're going to be at uh, $299.99, everything you need. So, I mean, it's going to be far cheaper than any body shop to do it for you. So that gets you that $299. You strip the vehicle, or like I said, scuff it if you wanted to do that. And then uh, we give you everything in there to get the thing primed with the epoxy, two to three coats. We give you the blocking, or I guess that's the kit wrap. Yeah, correct, yeah. Okay, that's the kit I was talking about. There's our base kit, and then there's one kit up for it. I think it's like 100 bucks more. What we give you is the blocking material and the sanding. So go ahead, you put it into epoxy. We show you how to block it, use the guide coat, fill any of your lows, you can tap them up, or if you don't have the body, uh, body work skills there, or body hammer skills, you can just work it with uh, some polyester filler. Come up there, block it, level it. Now you're ready for the urethane. So we did this. Um, what I'm gonna do now is go over to that fender, and I'll hit that with the little roller, just show you how, how that guy works. And it's really nice with these kits, you don't need any special tools, you don't need a big air compressor, you don't need a spray booth. You know, as you can see, we're not getting any overspray, so you're not covering up your, your toolboxes or anything sitting nearby. Um, so just, it's a nice, nice way to apply it. So, I'll get in here where you'll be able to see. Uh, same thing, new roller, so I want to meter it out. I'll just put it right here, step in that in a little later. And that's how easy it is for the verticals. And that's one of our smaller rollers, correct? Yep, this is the little one inch guy. Minimal masking. I mean, if you wanted to, you could, you could do a vehicle with glass in it. You know, you obviously remove your, your trim, but.
And you said those are open cell foam rollers, correct? Yes, they are. Okay, here we yeah. go. Yeah, versus the, uh, you know, what you're going to find at the Home Depots and that is your polyester. That's the, that's the heavier nap. Right. Also, I carry it around. Good little friend. Your foam brush? Just a regular foam brush. You see a little area there, just hit what you can. So this vehicle, you're, okay, so you wonder, well, well how long is this going to take me? Well, it took, uh, you know, I'm, you know, talking here, wasting a lot of time, but when we did the epoxy on here, it took about uh, 30, 30 to 40 minutes to go around and do the whole thing. Uh, where it got slowed down was coming down to the sail panel off the quarter there. You got to, you know, take a little time in there, but the roof and the hood go real quick. So for 40 minutes, that's a lot longer than it would take to spray it. But again, this was not developed to eliminate spray painting a car. It was to help the guy that doesn't have the equipment, expertise, or environment to spray a primer. The benefit of this is what you end up with is the same coating on the vehicle. This is going to be the same performance and durability that you would get if you paid a professional to go ahead and prime the vehicle. You're just applying it in a uh, you know, much more convenient for you method. That's exactly it. Speaking of applying it, as we're rolling into winter time, we've got some good questions rolling in with uh, two of them. One being, what's the minimum temperature you can apply it at, and what's the curing temperature? Um, well, okay. The min we don't, we don't want to see you go much below 60. Um, and what it'll do, anytime temperature drops from that nice 78 degrees, it's just going to increase your, your cure time. So instead of having to be 30 minutes between, between coats, you may be up there 40 minutes or a little more. I, I, wouldn't, go into the, I wouldn't go into the 50s. Um, you know, that's just a little bit too much or too cold. Right. And we have a request for a black version. Right now, these two kits come in, uh, come in gray. Okay. Uh, that's, we we that's definitely have um, one, one uh, requesting for black, and other is just asking if there's other colors as well. Yeah, get, get that guy's email. We'll work on a formulation now. That's a great question. We can do that. We can formulate in, uh, in black. What we did, we just uh, we mirrored our, our grays of our existing uh, spray applied primers. Uh, and we do sell more of the gray than the black, but that's something that we can bring out. Sounds good. And Law Dog uh, Corvette, if you're still on, uh, on YouTube watching at this moment, I see that you commented that you did your, uh, your 74 vet in your driveway with our Mulsane Blue, and uh, you had excellent results. We'd love to see it. Uh, if so, uh, shoot them into photo at eastwood.com. We love seeing what our customers do. I mean, actually, that's anyone in this chat or, in, or watching the video. He just happened to comment. If you guys did any of your projects you're proud of, send them to photo at eastwood.com. You know, a lot of times we can take them, we can use them on our website, we can use them in, in social and give you guys a little bit of fame while you're at it. I mean, no reason not to. Yeah. So that's it. What will happen now is the same as, uh, as with spray apply. As this coating cures, it's going to slowly self-level and lay down. There's no big pinholes or anything like that from the roller. We'll wait on well, this coating here. Uh, you, like I said, you can, um, you can go ahead, you can block it dry, you can block it wet. What we do is uh, you know, recommend once this cures, come back, do two more coats. Now you can see, so, so um, where's my cup? All right, I'll get a fresh one. So we started with 25 ounces. I'm anxious to see also how much did we really use on there? Because we give you a lot of material. I mean, you end up with, you know, the epoxy kit is two sprayable gallons. We got another request for black. <laughs> okay. So there we go. It's definitely a popular color to go underneath your darker, darker paints. So. One coat started what, with half? 20, uh, yeah, started with 25, and we're just a little bit over 12. Yeah, it's about 12 ounces. So 
looking at that, we'd use the same, you know, wouldn't take much more than that, maybe 40, 50 ounces to go ahead and roll this whole vehicle. Um, so I did want to uh, touch on real quick the guide coat. What the whole reason we did this was not just not just to prime a vehicle, but to give our customers the best and um, and and I don't want to say easy because anyone that's done body work knows it's not easy, but the best experience doing it. So up here, give you an example. This is this is still epoxy up here. So you put on your three coats. Now we have you block that out. We give you, you know, with the kit with the paper, you get the cross block. Block that out. And then the magic is the guide coat. And this is what you want to trust. Guide coat is an aerosol that's going to go on there. I haven't shaken this up. We'll try it on this seat in here. <laughs> While you're spraying that out, I uh, <laughs> want to know if it's also good on uh, rubber bumpers and plastic bumpers and stuff like Epoxies, that. Yes, epoxy. Yes, epoxy. Properly scuffed on that. Yes. Correct. Um, so what guide coat is, it's a quick dry product that we sell here that you're going to go ahead and you'll spray it in a uniform. Don't what you see on TV where someone's just doing all this. You want to have a uniform coating in there. You let that sit and what will happen um, now when you come back and cross block this, you're going to see, you just hit it real quick. You'll see, see all these areas here where the black, you see the gray that's coming back, but where the black is still visible, that means it's lower than the surface side of it because I came down here. So that means that that black is sitting in recessions in there or depressions, whatever it may be in there. So now you can come if you wanted to work them up, you know, hammer dolly or skim coat with your polyester filler. Let that cure, block it again. Reapply the guide coat, block it again. You go through that two, three times till you have no more, no more black in there, but all uniform gray. Now it's assured of a level surface. Now you go ahead, put your urethane on there. You build up your urethane. That gives a nice surfacer. Block that down and you're ready for color. And while you're zoomed in with the camera, we had a question come in to see if we had a dried, uh, finished product to show us. So the entire roof of this car, actually the entire car has already been done Everything in the epoxy. Is, so. Yeah, if you want to get like, uh, you know, you can get a tight shot down there if you want to see the, the profile or lack thereof. Yeah, can we move? Yeah. If I had a straight edge, but try and get the top of the door, you know, right in there where the light's on it. But I don't have a straight edge to go across it, but you're not going to see much texture at all, if any. And, and it's primer. And what you do is you're going to block that level anyhow. That's what it's there for. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this whole process is, is to block it out, get your level surface to build on for your color. We have, we have um, the four kits. Like I said, the, the kit to get tonight is the basic kit, the part number, um, which gives you the epoxy. This is what gets you started. You get the full instruction book with it. So you'll see in there the steps that, okay, I want to do this, but maybe I don't want to do it right now. Maybe I'll wait till after the new year, into the spring to do the rest of it. At least what you can do now, get the vehicle stripped, get it into epoxy. When you've got a project car and you just have it at bare metal and you're starting to do your body work and stuff, it can get pretty overwhelming real quick. And a trick that I found like doing is get it in primer. Just get it all one color. Now you feel like, all right, I just made a big step. And it is, it's a huge step. Nice thing with our epoxy is you can do, you can do your, if you're doing any filler work, you can do it over or under. So if you're from the school where I want to put polyester filler right on bare metal, do that. Go ahead and do all your body work first, then come back. Our epoxy um, will bond to the filler, no problem, and the bare metal. So you can do it either way. You can do your body work on top of it or below it. But I, th I think it's um, like 98003 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you're, you're correct. It is it's 98003 uh, ZP. I put that part number in the chat uh, so okay. you guys can see it. 
Uh, and a good question. While we're talking about the, the product that you're going to get in these kits, uh, somebody want to know, is the kit enough to do a whole you know, car, like I say, a 19 uh, or 67 Chevelle? Yeah. You'll mm -hmm. have uh, the epoxy is going to give you two sprayable gallons. So we said that this would be about 50, 60 ounces. Let's just double that. Yeah. I know the Chevelle's not twice as big as that, but let's double that. So yep. you got 120 ounces. So more than enough. You'll have some left over, more than enough. And that's why we have the instructions there. Mix the small, mix small 20, 30 ounces at a time. Uh, because the reason for that is one, the pot life. You know, you don't want to have, um, you don't want to have the stuff starting to set up or in the tray. So, but yeah, that'd be the thing to get, that'd be the one to start with. Get that small kit. Uh, nice thing with anything with Eastwood here. You got our customer solutions tech line in there. Can answer any questions. Uh, if they can't answer the questions, it'll come to me, it'll come to Scott, Joe, we'll answer them for you. We get on the phone with customers, um, money back guarantee. I mean, you can't go wrong. You 30 days if you don't like it. We know you will. We've got hundreds of kits out there. People are very satisfied with them. Yeah, and one of the things, you know, it's nice about this, this kit, as you guys can see, I mean, we don't have to mask off anything back here. I mean, you're not worried about, you know, your neighbors getting overspray on their new cars. You're not worried about getting overspray on your toolboxes. You know, some of us, you know, they're, they're, they're bigger, more expensive. I mean, they're an investment. So one of the key things is just how easy this is to apply. As you can tell, Mark did it in about 15 minutes, and he's already done, and he'd be, be ready for the next code if he wanted to pretty soon. Yep. Yeah. So we thank you guys for tuning in. You know, if you have any any questions, you know, feel free to shoot them, you know, tech at eastwood.com and, uh, you know, check out the link in the video to be able to purchase this products. Thank you.